On the channel, we have several episodes dedicated to listening to Wilbur Soot's music. In the very first episode, I listened to Your New Boyfriend, and I thought, and I laughed so hard for that song. And I thought, okay, all Wilbur's music's going to be funny. Oh boy, I was wrong, because then we proceeded to listen to all of Your City Gives Me Asthma and the Maybe I Was Boring EP, where I cried in that video. I went on an emotional roller coaster. I'm like, I thought this was going to be funny music, but a lot of people were saying, hey, if you want comedy, listen to the E-Girl trilogy. I'm in love with an E-Girl, as well as the internet ruined me. So I figure, you know what? I'm re really enjoying Wilbur Sutt's music, so let's go ahead and dive into those. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, hope you're having a good day today. Hope your day's going well, and hope it continues to go well. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be listening to the entirety of the E-Girl trilogy for the very first time. So, those two songs, and plus, I'm going to revisit your new boyfriend, so that way, I can get context for that song as well. In case you missed the very first episode or any of the other Wilbur uh, videos I've done, I'll leave a link in the description box below to take you through the full playlist as well as to, I'll leave a link for me listening to Lovejoy, Wilbur's band from the very first time, and or I'll also leave a link to listening to their newest EP, Wake Up and It's Over. With that being said, let's get into it to the E-Girl trilogy. I'm excited, let's go. And here we go. Microsoft Windows, 90, a year after I was born. Pretty acoustic guitar. Now, it was designed to be a fun way of sending your friends images. Innocently enough, just about video games. Connect people from around the world. He was robbed while trying to meet up with a woman he met online. What makes the app so good? Parents. Hey, welcome guys. Welcome to my tutorial. Today I'll show you how to get a girlfriend using uh, I, my ideals of a toxic romantic aspiration. PM. Wake up from snoring, open DM, scan of Red Bull by the bed. Vape is charged and Snapchat's red. I'm loving the juxtaposition of seeing the electric guitar, even though it's being played on the acoustic guitar. And also, this reminds me a lot of Maybe I Was Boring, Your City Gives Me Asthma, just with the acoustic guitar feel to it. I love the use of the samples of the news anchors at the very beginning of it, and with all these pop-up windows. It's perfect. I love it. Oh, not mute. See, she's great. She has a profile picture of an anime girl's face. Just a single <laughs> message more. She's rubbing up my Ethernet cord. <laughs> Just looking at that blank stare in the camera. The guy that you fall asleep on call with. I'll make you forget every guy that came before me. I like you and you like my attention let's skip to the good bit let's consummate our internet connection <laughs> I'm in love with him I'm in love with him I'm in love with him with an ego I'm, I'm loving loving the blank stares that from this Wilbur Cam. And also, it's my favorite outfit, all black in a beanie. I love it. Weirdly, I think he looks the same now as he did all the way back then. Weirdly, like, this, this, I don't think he's aged, which is a compliment. Because he looks good. Just great. Mom took away my PS4, so I punched a hole through my bedroom wall. I'm not just ooze masculine passion <laughs> Did you know I've also got depression Self-diagnosed thought I should mention I thought you could be the one to fix me it Sounds exactly like, like what someone would send to an e-girl Especially like if it's on Twitch And like just send this as a random donation thing <laughs> Love it Now we're changing up the font now. It 
It's spelled so wrong, and I love it. <laughs> like, so many spelling mistakes, yet that's how I spell. And also just Wilbur's voice pitched up. <laughs> it's, it's... I love it. I love this. Like, I think that's Wilbur's voice up in octave, like pitched up. I could be wrong, could be 100% wrong. And uh, if I am wrong, someone will let me know in the comment section below, but <laughs> still love it. Mom took away my PS4. I've said it so many times before. How could I live on if I keep on collecting? <laughs> These every little slice and insurrection, constant pain in every dimension. My body weeps, disbelief, head suspension. Change, change the fun again. Loving the guitar. Oh. Social media scour. You seek police intervention. I base my ideals on obsessive media. Maybe if I act like them, you'll respond to my DM. Oh. Yeah, no, that's exactly like what was sent to someone. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Okay, Wilbur. <laughs> Thank you for watching my tutorial. I completely forgot that this was a tutorial video. Oh, dude. <laughs> Absolutely love that. And we got even a thing to his uh, music channel, which I know a lot of people have recommended me to check out. That'll be something for another day, maybe next week. But that was I Am In Love With An E-Girl. So now we move on to the very next song in the list, which is The Internet Ruined Me. Here we go. <laughs> Angrily, it's tree with a branch. Well, that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. That just like little hit of like, cause like we're very lo-fi. Then the hit of the drums. They're just kind of like very a different kind of feel. Like it. Very '90s retro feel here. Keyboards like my heart, it shines in RGB and it's full of blood. I don't know what is wrong with me, but I'm scared, pissed off, and lonely. I have trouble speaking to women unless they're 2D or high definition. Spend all my time on social media, this is the state that I'm in. Wilbur, <laughs> we have. Like, we start out the lyrics and we immediately went into a turn, which is like, yeah, I'm like a keyboard. I shine in red, green, blue, and also blood. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> now playing a glockenspiel. Twitter feeds like my brain Cause I have it on dark mode <laughs> Memorize everything she says So I can use it to guess her passcode Creepy! <laughs> but I absolutely love that line When Twitter feeds like my brain It's in dark mode Absolutely love that And the way he says, uh, says in this brain 
Cause I have it on dark Love mode. that. But the way it's... everything she says. I... Says. I like that. Cause look. Me. I would say says. But he. Goes. Says. That's cool. It, it, it's very uh, Kurt Cobain of just morphing words to make it fit your rhyme scheme, and I love it. It's super cool. I can use it to guess a passcode. Still creepy. She's beauty. She's grace. She has a profile picture of her gorgeous face. To try and get more sponsors. To try and get more sponsors. But why don't you care? Past ten years of my life making you bad. You're political enough, but not contrary. Sexual enough, but not enough to scare me. Give me a reason not to be on my knees. The internet's ruined me. I love it. Love that. Uh, probably need just need to take time with those lyrics. Sit down with them. Look at them. Think about them. That understand but of these two songs and I know what I know re remember and know of uh, your new boyfriend I love all of them lyrically they're both all written very well and there's something again I love about like it's just play on the acoustic guitar and Wilbur's playing on the electric here that I absolutely just love seeing musically they're great this one also Reminds me of Wilbur's other songs. It's weird because you can hear Lovejoy elements in these songs as well. I love it so much. Look, I know I must sound insane, but that's part of the package. <laughs> if she can't handle me at my worst, she don't deserve. My mental baggage. I know you want six foot four, but one foot more, and I'd almost be tall enough to reach the high shelf. Be your incel. I think I might be a threat to myself. I love trauma dumping. <laughs> a threat to myself. It's a coolly shot music video, too. It's so cool. Does she run when I'm monthly giving her 50% of my income? It feels like my ideas of affection are based around artificial perfection. I just want to appease the internet's ruin. This reoccurring electric guitar line is super cool. And it shows Wilbur a tap doing a little tap line on his guitar. And I want to learn how to play it. I really want to learn how to play it. However, because of this song, the last song, I don't know if Wilbur's actually like tapping out that guitar line and or if it's something else. <laughs> Just cause. I mean, when he's strumming, he's just like pet baby padding the strings, as I like to call it. And yeah, I want to learn it regardless, because it's such a cool little motif in there. I love it. <laughs> Strum's got rockish feel. Love it. On Spotify. Oh, you're welcome, Andrew. So, did you learn anything important today? Are you kidding? I can't go another day without the internet. Peter showed me how to look up all the information I need on my school projects about Egypt. Great. We looked at Spotify. So, dumbly, very, very dumbly, that last part of this song, we used to sleep on call together. 
weirdly that's emotional to me because when me and my girlfriend lovely not her real name but it's my little pet name for her when we uh started dating we used to facetime a lot before really like facetime like snapchat facetime we used to skype <laughs> like very early on and like we would like sleep on and wake up and we'd just be continuing our call so dumbly, that line is like a little bit emotional to me because like I do kind of miss that, and yeah, D like I said, it's very dumb. She's asleep right now. I'm up. It's one. It's uh, going on two a.m. as I'm recording this, but dumbly, absolutely love it. So we listened to "I'm in Love with Negro." We listened to "The Internet Ruined Me," and now we revisit your new boyfriend, and we apply context let's get right into it coming up on this program we show how to you dial how to get connected, find out how to choose an internet service provider discover the newest form of communication electronic i love mail. all of wilbur's retro aesthetic it's good Quite what I thought I'd be when I was a kid on VOIP. I thought when I get older, I'd marry her. I told her now I'm 26 and I work in an office. Nine till five's not the best, I'll be honest. If I could change a single thing, I'd make it me and not him. He's in your bed, I'm in your Twitch chat. I've got the key and he's just a doormat. I forgot that, like, the the chorus, and just like the interruptions of like the cool guitar thing, and that he's in your bedroom on your Twitch chat. I love it because like one of the things I said early on was this sounds like exactly like donation to a Twitch chatter, an e girl on tw on Twitch, just trauma dumping and just saying all of this stuff, and <laughs> perfect. No, he's got social skills That doesn't mean I can't pay the bills Anyway, make the most of him Cause she moves on pretty bloody quick Oh, oh Your new boyfriend's an asshole. <laughs> In the pause, Woo! I forgot about the pause in the pool <laughs> The trumpet I love that the pop-up windows remain a constant thing throughout all of these videos. Just like emails, chatting. Yeah, I've met love Jared. it. Of course I've met Jared. The one who took you away from me. You hit it off instantly. I know cause you won't stop telling me. I've seen his jawline, shoulders and muscles push against his fashion sense. I've thought about what he looks like nude. Not gay though. <laughs> Love it. Oh, she's living the dream. From back when we were 17, she's living the dream. Oh, she's living So one of the things I thought of going into this one is, is I guess in the E-Girl trilogy canon, how long was it in between each one of these videos? Because now he says he's 26, and the line we just heard was when they were 17. So I wonder if this is someone he already knew, like, since when he was 17, and, like, now they're an e-girl on Twitch uh, doing those kind of streams, maybe having one of those kind of sites. <laughs> uh, and or if it's, like, I don't know if it's, like, they knew of each, he knew of her, and they're just like, progressively, what? I don't know. It's one of the things I wonder. It's just like, the timeline between each video. I don't know. Dream from back when we were 17. How on earth could I be safe when I'm one click away from insane? I just think that I deserve a little bit of what I earned. I'm not going to make another scene. The one I made when I was 23. So the 23 one. It was like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say there. It's a little continue. Allowed in Disney World. Oh yeah, that. I forgot about the Disney World line. Someone explained to me what happened there. He's in your bed and I'm in your Twitch chat. 
someone explained to me the twenty uh, the Disney World line in the comment section of the very first video, I completely forget. <laughs> oh boy! So remind me down in the comment section below <laughs> what happened to Disney. I've got the key and he's just a doormat. Cause even though he's got social skills, that doesn't mean I can't pay the bills anyway. Make the most of him. Cause she moves on pretty bloody quick. Oh. It's very creepy uh, hearing the other songs and like how Wilbur in these three songs has just progressively gotten more and more insane now seeing him with, <laughs> with just like Windex sanitizer just pressed up to his... It's weird. It's very like the cycle of going insane. It's very weird. And now we get more creepy. Let's go ahead and delete all these emails, shall we? Ah. Uh. Oh, that's right, this outro. Well, there also comes a time when you have to log off. And that's what Wilbur has done with the E-Girl trilogy. Man, it's nice getting this in the context of everything. Uh, just listening to those three songs together. It's like I said, it's amazing that you can hear like these early love joy elements within these songs as well. Absolutely love it. And... A lot of things remind me of Your City Gives Me Asthma, of course, because it's Wilbur. Wilbur wrote these songs, so this influences will continue. I will say that uh, the second one we listened to, The Internet Ruined Me, reminded me the most of Lovejoy. Your new boyfriend reminded me in bits, but I would say that The Internet Ruined Me reminded me the most of Lovejoy. But yeah, no, that was the E-Girl trilogy. Uh... <laughs> That was great. It was definitely, definitely great. And we'll probably check out some more Wilbur music. I know Soft Boy is a song people want me to listen to. There's the incel stuff people want me to listen to as well. If you have any suggestions of what Wilbur song I can listen to next, leave it down in the comment section below. We might hop over to the Wilbur music channel and listen to that and or the early demos where Wilbur was drunk recording one apparently. We'll listen to that maybe. But tomorrow we will listen to more of... Wilbur, just not Wilbur, but his band's Lovejoy, and I'll see you all then. Goodbye, and more importantly, have a good day, and I'll see you later.